The man shot the beautiful girl's head with a gun without mercy. What motivated him to kill barbarically such a young girl? Let's find out. On a fine day, Ted discovered his woman was having an affair with a man in the hotel. He entered the car, monitored from afar, then turned away. Ted certainly wouldn't forgive them. That night, the woman came home. Ted pretended to compliment her how beautiful she was, then kissed her. The woman soon lost patience with this old man. She turned to leave. Ted reminded her from behind, told about her lover. He raised the gun, then the woman turned her head. Ted shot her in the head. Someone discovered the murder in the house, but Ted was not worried. He fired a few more shots, then undressed and burned. He washed away the smell of gunpowder from his body. He was a bit impatient. Police came. The man who rushed to talk to him was the adulteress with his woman. The man told Ted to be a little kind. Ted said he was very kind. The man asked Ted what he did. Ted said he killed his wife. The man slowly steps closer and found out that the victim was his lover. The man lunged at Ted and fight Ted. In the car, Ted looked at the man. Although his mouth covered with blood, he smiled. Court started Ted's instance. The man just wanted to take Ted to see God immediately, but Ted was as calm as the court was his home. He pointed to untidy bow of the policeman who about to punish him. He told the judge he was innocent. He wanted to defend himself. The judge reminded him that his case was serious and self-defending meant finding the death. Ted said he was looking for the way to die. Because Ted didn't want to live, the trial tried Ted again. Ted's attitude was like participating in a beauty contest. A witness gave testimony in court. Ted bowed in disinterest. Another witness provided testimony above. Ted still drew without worry. The judge really couldn't see any more, motioning for him to give an opinion. Ted replied no. By the time that police went to court, the police reported sternly with the clear evidence. When the police reported important details, Ted gently protested. Ted stood up and told him he did not know how to say. At this moment, Ted eloquently said, this sentence was even more harsh than usual. Ted explained the police and his wife had an affair with each other. The witness and the defendant's wife had this relationship, so all testimonies were void, and Ted was innocent. This was the reason Ted defended himself, his wife was killed by the shooting. They was exposed in court. The policeman was angry, immediately intended to kill Ted. The judge quickly ordered to maintain order. The police were taken away, Ted stood up. The police stared at him. He knew he had encountered a intelligent person since Ted successfully defended himself to reverse the situation. The judge made an appointment with him and the police to mediate privately. The judge said all the evidence that the stupid police put up was void. If there was no new evidence until Monday, Ted would be released. Tricked by Ted, of course he did not accept. But the important thing was that he had the same thought with a cop, knew exactly Ted was the culprit. He definitely had to cure Ted's crime. He went to another police officer who arrested Ted. The two negotiated. The main point was the gun that Ted used to shoot, finding it might give Ted the punishment. The case was strange when Ted was arrested. A gun had been found, but it was never fired. Ted must have swapped the crime gun. The gun was definitely hidden in the Ted's house, made sure to find the weapon before Monday. He continued to go that stupid policeman's house, asking inexplicably, why the did not you know crime scene was your lover's house, even you ran to arrest people. That idiot was so angry, he said he really didn't know. He only dated hers twice a week, only interested in having sex. Other things he didn't know well. Now that idiot fell from grace, the disgrace has been reported. This was a cause, then he died. Before the case happened, Ted sneaked into the hotel where the man and his wife cheated. He thought about this, immediately went over to search for evidence. Indeed he saw the surveillance camera. But Ted wore a hat that was bigger than his butt. In the video, only the hat was visible, the face was not seen. This could not be evidence. Because if he only rely on the body to guess a person, the court would say, stupid, what are you talking about? The case made him have a headache. Ted suddenly called him, asking if evidence was found, otherwise Ted would be released on Monday. After that, Ted specially asked him some perverted questions. He immediately hung up the phone. The case did not find any new evidence. Tonight, the stupid police suddenly found him and tell him, if the gun was not found, Ted could not be charged. He was about to risk once more. He asked a friend in the internal police department for help create fake evidence. The idiot was so sincere, he really loved that woman, but the policeman told him to go home and sleep. The policeman really couldn't think anyway. He even went to the hospital, sat next to Ted's woman, expecting her to suddenly wake up, tell him everything. Ted didn't kill the woman, but turned her into paralytic. The final session has finally begun. 
the evening before the trial took place, that stupid policeman told the police he prepared everything. The fake gun was hidden in Ted's house, the policeman just needed to come to get it. The judge immediately asked the prosecutor if he found new evidence or not. At this time, Ted said based on Article 1118.1 of Canadian law, if there was no new evidence, please immediately said he was innocent. The exclamation judge said, good. In a week, the ability to advocate was nearly as good as a qualified lawyer. The judge accepted Ted's request, continued to ask the prosecutor about new evidence. He wondered, took out his phone, intended to call his assistant to provide evidence that had been fabricated. But finally, he stopped. His perceptions did not allow him to do so. The trial ended. Ted was released. When Ted left the courthouse, he happily said goodbye to the idiot and told him not to be too sad. Then the surveyor raised the phone, heard a gunshot outside. He ran out, on the stairs, the stupid policeman escaped. That night, the police still often ran to the hospital, hope withdrawing the woman's ventilator, but the girl always took interests first and didn't help. He looked up to the superiors, the superiors didn't help either. When he got a judge's restraining order and went to the hospital, Ted told the doctor to finish the operation. Because of Ted, he completely lost his job. But he could not understand the magic of this case. Ted actually shot the woman in the house, why couldn't he find the gun? Today, he went to the police of this case in the past and immediately discovered the secret. The police kept the phone next to the prosecutor's phone. Their phones were the same. The phone rang. The police thought that their lover called, immediately picked up the phone, but it was the phone of the prosecutor. The police returned the phone to him. In this moment, he realized that his IQ was not bad either. He immediately found Ted to discuss. It turned out that Ted's gun and the stupid cop were of the same type. Before Ted shot him, he went to the hotel. Not only looked at them, but the main purpose was to swap guns. Then the woman went home. He used the stupid policeman's gun to shoot the woman. After that, the idiot came to arrest him. By the time the idiot hugged the woman, Ted swapped the gun back to him, so the gun was taken away from Ted's house and was still carried by the fool. The truth has been revealed. The police arrested Ted. The court opened the trial again. Finally, Ted pleaded guilty again. Fi